Can't fall in love, all I got for you is this. Right now I'm ballin'. Hey you guys, it's Tatiana here. So today I wanted to come and talk to y'all because I seen something that kind of frustrated my brain. It triggered my brain and my brain wanted to speak, okay? So it's about Halloween. Because <laughs> y'all know how spiritual I am. Y'all know that I basically post about spiritual things. I post from my spiritual perspective and I'm really we are really thinking about doing reactions to like different videos but it will be from the spiritual perspective let me know if y'all would want to see that or not let me know if y'all have any ideas or anything but back to what I'm saying okay so I seen this this um this post on I think it was Instagram 10 reasons why we don't celebrate Halloween and then it, three is death, four are zombies, five are vampires, six is blood, seven is gore, eight is werewolves, nine is evil spirits, and 10 is Satan. But then also on the bottom it says, do not defile yourself by turning to those mediums, turning to mediums or those who consult the spirits of the dead. I am the Lord your God. And it put the scripture. Whatever scripture it is, I'm not familiar with the Bible. I don't know. But <clears throat> what bothered us about that post, about that picture, is because that's like, it's not true. It's false. Everything that I just read was false. Um. Okay, one, witches. Witches are just spiritual beings who are in touch with their spiritual abilities. Before us new spiritual beings was here on earth, our parents, our grandparents, our parent, parent, parents, the people, the spirits who was here before us, right? They were unconscious, okay? First of all. So the unconscious spirits seen the conscious spirits as something negative because they were in tune with their own personal gifts. They were in tune with their abilities. They were in tune with the gifts that God sent us here with. We're not from this planet. And people need to realize that we're not from this planet. You are not a human being. You are a spirit inside of a body, which means is that you're from somewhere else, which means is that you could have those spiritual abilities. But because you have been programmed but because you have unconsciously chosen to follow the guidelines of other unconscious human beings they are able to give y'all false information like y'all are really stopping these these little kids who don't see nothing negative don't see nothing negative about halloween be because you have been told something by somebody else who nine times out of ten is telling you false information because whoever told them is not is not always true. Our parents, our grandparents, our parents' parents, they were not told the correct information. How can you follow their guidance if if their life is not successful in some type of form or fashion? You cannot take information from somebody who is not. Witches are just us, you and me. But somebody else who was in tune with their spiritual ability. How do you think preachers, preachers can, can, can get in tune with God and, and know what to preach or, or know what to say to somebody because they have opened them, their selves up unconsciously to that spiritual energy that witches use because witches not to not ten, they just use the energy but they use it in magic form if that makes sense yeah okay number two ghosts ghosts are spiritual beings who no longer have human bodies that's what a ghost is a ghost is you and me but now they don't have a human body they have transcended they has they have went on to the next mission and that goes along with number three, which is death. Nobody dies. Ghost and death goes hand to hand. False information. Y'all have been getting told false information. Ghosts are not 
evil. Not all ghosts are evil. And if there is an evil ghost, it is because that spirit who no longer has a body is trying to reconcile something that happened to them while they were here on this planet. It's like, it's the things that has been turned into negative is actually positive. And, and the positives that is actually positives on this planet is actually the negatives. If y'all get what I'm saying, everything has been switched around because white people, wh white people who listening, I'm not, I'm just listen, just listen to him go say. The white people that was able to overtake our ancestors as black people were unconscious, right? So now they have shared their unconsciousness and then our ancestors share it with us. It's like a cycle and y'all are just going along with what they they have told you. They knew from the beginning who we really are. They know they know for a fact the white people, the white man, whatever y'all want to call them, the government, whoever. They know for a fact who we who we really are. They know for a fact that we are not real human beings. They know for a fact that we have spiritual gifts. They know for a fact that we have spiritual abilities, which is why they have to turn it into something negative so they can find a way to control everybody on this planet. Okay, like the brain wants to be able to control. The brain wants to be able to have it their way. And because the white man had the most power back decades and decades ago, they were able to program everybody in a way for them to control everybody. Now, it is 2019 and more individuals are becoming more conscious. More individuals are becoming more, more really spiritual. Not religious, but spiritual. The true, natural spiritual. Spirituality. You know what I mean? So, and, and they're not... The white man, and I hate saying that, but the white man will not be able to control the planet for much longer if individuals keep becoming conscious. But you have to get away from what your ancestors or what your family have taught you because it's not true. It's not real. They, were, they have received false information from unconscious spiritual beings. Because when somebody does say they're a psychic, when somebody does say, oh, well, they're a witch or they can see ghosts or little kids say mom dad uncle whoever I can see this it becomes something negative why because from birth you have been programmed these individuals are bad from movies from TV shows everything they're programming your brain to believe that the real that our truth is negative they have been able to program y'all to believe that our our true natural spiritual abilities that is not human human not human is bad no no god is not a human god is not an individual god is the source god is energy period 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 y'all like like do y'all get what i'm saying Start to question things. Start to go outside the box. Start to go against what your family tells you. And if you find out it's true, then be like, okay. But go and research it yourself, like my son. I don't just make my son believe whatever I say. I need him to go and find out for himself. I need him to figure out and know it for himself. Because if you just take your family's information... It could be some conscious un information which can harm you energy-wise in the future. Always go and do your own research. Number four, zombies. Fake, period. Vampires, fake, period. Number six, blood. Okay, so you don't celebrate Halloween because blood. When has blood became negative? Blood is in our bodies. Blood helps us survive on this planet. Oh, because somebody else has, has, has showed you a picture from two years old that if somebody has blood on their face or some, it, it, it's something that is evil. It is something that is negative. Why not choose to see it as just what it is? Blood on the face. You go and wash, wash it off. It's not real blood. Y'all are allowing other individuals to program y'all to tell y'all what is okay and what is not okay. 
Because have y'all ever really questioned why, honestly, why do I, not my family, not me as a family member, why do me as an individual feel like this is wrong? Question yourself, write down everything you think is wrong about celebrating Halloween, celebrating whatever it is. Whatever it is, you have been taught that it is wrong, write it down and figure out for yourself, is it wrong to you as an individual? Because just something, just because something's wrong to your family doesn't mean that it's wrong. God has not came down to earth and literally said that witches are evil, ghosts are evil, um, zombies are real, vampires are real, blood is evil. If blood was evil, why would God give us blood in our bodies? Gore, creepy. We need a variety. If everything was just spirituality, if everything was just, oh, nice and pretty flowers, all oh, with no darkness, no type of negativity, no nothing, what would, what would be the point of God sending us to earth to learn and expand our energy? What would, what would be the point? There would be no point. You should be open to celebrate things with your children if it's not affecting them in a, in a negative way because if you begin to see it in a negative way what you are doing energy wise which is the real language that god god really speaks is energy and if you begin to focus on halloween being negative you're going to manifest things that are negative and you can begin to manifest images that are not really there because you're talking to your brain werewolves when have you ever in the real world ever seen werewolves attack somebody eat somebody turn it turn into a human being i'm not saying that people can't shape shift and things like that but what i'm saying is when have you 2019 seen a talking werewolf it's made up evil spirits i already talked about that there's no such thing as evil spirits there are unconscious and there's conscious. And then number 10 is Satan. Satan. I'm not going to get into that because that's just not my thing. And then I also wanted to comment on this scripture. I don't know what scripture it is, y'all. Like I said earlier, me and the Bible, I'm going to read it again. Do not defile yourself by turning to mediums or those who consult the spirits of the dead, I am you, the Lord your God. Nobody dies, so you're not consulting the dead because the dead is the body and the brain, and the body and the brain is in the ground, so you can't consult a dead body. You can talk to spirits who are technically angels who no longer have bodies, like I said earlier. When you see people talking to spirits, when you feel, when people say, oh, well, I was talking to my, my, my spirit, my ancestor, like Nipsey Hussle's mother, she knows exactly what she's talking about. She was talking to her ancestors, meaning her family members who were here before her. When did that become evil? You're talking to the people that you used to know that no longer have the body. Y'all have been told... Y'all have been told false information. Like, really, nobody dies, you transition. What happens is, whatever causes the human death, meaning the, the, the stoppage of the brain. Death is just when your brain stops functioning. You, the spirit, you, the soul, do not die. You don't die because you are energy. You just no longer have a body which makes you, y'all get what I'm saying? So. Nobody dies. So whenever your brain stops, whenever your brain is damaged, whenever your brain, whatever, whenever that death happens, you at that split second, leave your body, which is why Nipsey Hussle mother said that she, like her son was chasing. Yeah, you are now just energy. You are in a different dimension. You are no longer in the human world. You are now transitioned to the spiritual world. Your body dies. There is nothing evil about talking to somebody who is no longer in a body. 
how do y'all pray and talk to God? Do God have a body? Oh, no. How do y'all talk to Jesus? Y'all y'all worship Jesus. Y'all love Jesus. Y'all say y'all can hear Jesus. Y'all say that y'all speak to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus no longer has a body. Jesus is just a spirit. Jesus is just energy now. But y'all can do that. Hmm. Think about that. I'm being for real. Like, and sometimes, like, for me, it is, it's very hard to talk to other individuals because as soon as I say the things that I know for a fact, they begin to look at me kind of weird and things like that. But I'm, I, I'm at the point where, like, I don't care. I'm tired. We, me and my brain, are, we are tired of hearing people share false information about God. We are tired of hearing people share false information about the spiritual world. We are tired of seeing people take advantage of the spirituality and take advantage of creating churches and things like this when they don't know exactly what they're sharing. They don't know. They have no idea. Of, okay, a human being in my terms, is a spirit who is living connected to their brain. How do you live connected to your brain? You are listening to to your mental voice instead of your energy voice. But I will discuss that in another video. I caught myself rambling, y'all. So I really need y'all to share my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. I promise y'all. Um, like... I need y'all's help. I need help to create videos, topics, because when I start recording, the video ideas leave, the topics leave. So if y'all communicate with me, then I will be able to create more content or speak to y'all about stuff. But until then, till I get more viewers and until stuff get popping, we are considering doing reaction videos just to get stuff out there i don't want to just create stuff just because but i really want to focus on my spiritual but if y'all don't want to hear that let me know i'm rambling again like comment and subscribe share my videos talk to your mama your sister your cousin your grandparents even though they they are not going to agree with me which is okay i love all grandparents i love all older people I love young people who have been programmed to believe what their family believes. I love everybody. You know what I mean? I don't judge. I can't judge. How can I be spirit if I'm a judge? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love you guys. Bye.